everybody. How's it going? Happy Saturday. I hope that you are having a good day. Um, supposedly I'm live, but it takes like 18 seconds for the thing to show. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello. I'm going to hang out for a couple of minutes, see if anybody shows up. Spotify playlist is, uh, I don't know how this appears on your feed. So for me, it appears there. Um, but for you, it may appear somewhere else. So anyway, I'm going to queue up the playlist. Um, I just had it. Where was it? Theme Workout 6-6. Six, six. See, when I made this, I didn't even know what the theme was going to be. But it's a chair workout. So just a note for today, you do need a chair, okay? Um, not a rolling chair. That would be, that would be a bad choice. Um, you want a chair that is reasonably stable, that can support your body weight, is not rickety and old, um, preferably something that you find of good structural integrity. Integ Good structural integrity. My Lord, you think I've been drinking and I have not been drinking. I actually took the entire week off from booze, including today, because my birthday's tomorrow. So I'm like cleansing, purifying everything before I destroy it. No, um, but uh, it's been good to take some time off from the alcohol. Um, maybe you've been consuming a lot of the boozer tins while under lockdown and maybe maybe it'd be good to take a break something to think about um it's been an interesting week and uh there have been a couple of e evenings where i'm like oh my lord but um i did and i survived and you know it's something to think about all right theme workout six six um, so you can't see this, but, uh, I mean, um, I kneel, I have like a workout mat that I have on the ground that I just kneel on so I can be in front of the camera. And, uh, because tomorrow's my birthday, I'm officially turning one year closer to old lady. Um, so I have to do the old lady grunt when I get up. All right. Uh, yeah. Is anybody here? Hi mom, how's it going? You gonna do this chair workout with me? Pretty cool, I'm gonna get my headphones turned on. Welcome to QCY, E the Insure Show by E. I still can't get an E the Insure Show by E. Working on it. I actually don't know what that last part means. Um, all right, gonna get this party started in three, Two, one, here we go. I have my chair, I have some weights. Um, again, the weights are optional. If you don't have them, it's not the end of the world, but we're gonna be doing some upper body stuff. So if you wanna do like, you know, a little bit of weight workout, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing some upper body stuff. So but we're gonna set those out of the way for a moment. All right, I'm gonna look one more time and then I'm gonna get started. Okay. So, you can do all this to the best of your ability. There will be a few things where we're not in the chair or around the chair. Um, you know, so modify as you see fit. But first, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cross our legs in a figure four and lean forward. Hold it for a second. Put the other side. Oh, we're gonna do five on each side. This is two. Ooh. Two. Oh man. Three. Oh, make sure you keep your back straight as you lean forward. Oh, that feels so nice. I don't know, you guys, my booty has been. Could always use a good stretch. And sexy thing is playing on the workout. We've got two more times each side. So if any of you are watching and like, 
this workout, uh, it sounds like an easy workout. Well, okay, it's not as intense as some of the other ones. We're gonna do arm circles, slow, um, but you can make this relatively intense if you choose to. There are ways to make it more intense. And if you are not at that level, just take your time. This is for you. Enjoy. Seven, I think this is eight, nine, ten. We're gonna go backwards. One. Uh, really emphasize the shoulders pulling through the motions. Do four more. Three, two, one. We're gonna do side reach. We're going to do 20 of these total. That's four. Five. Where you have your bottom hand, I don't care too much. Um, if you want to get more of a support so you can lean farther, that's totally cool. Let my ears, my head, my ear go towards my shoulder to get a nice neck stretch too. So today is going to be my last theme workout for a while. Um, well, okay, I take that back. My last Saturday theme workout. Um, next Saturday, next week, I'm going to a reduced schedule. So just, I'm going to have two set days a week. Let's do one more on each side. Um, I'm going to have two set days a week, and then I'm going to have like a bonus workout. What is my bonus workout? It's whatever you guys want. So send me your suggestions for what you'd like to see. All right. We're going to sit in our chair, sit on the edge of our chair, and just march it out. Now as I'm doing this, I'm keeping my knees at 90 degrees, and I'm lifting with my core. I'm going to do roughly 20 of these. That's 10, I think. Can't count while I'm talking. I need to hire someone to just count for me. Wouldn't that be nice? Now hiring, I can pay you very, very little. But if this is a job that you would like to count my reps, uh, please apply uh, through my page. Let's do two more each side. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're going to do little snow angels. So we're going to emphasize stretching those arms, stretching the shoulders out. This looks really weird on the screen. <laughs> so just slowly out and in. So you're going to be working your core a little bit here. All right, I think that's about 10. We're going to do 10 more. 10. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, one. All right, last thing for the warm up. So you're gonna you're gonna have one leg go out and the other reach down, reach the foot in front. So. My right foot is out, my right hand is reaching my left foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. How are you feeling? Oh, shake it out, roll it out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with all upper body. So it's going to be seven moves, I believe seven moves. Um, we're going to do two times screw. Each set is going to have 12 reps. Okay, so we're going to try to go sort of slow. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Now the first move, we're actually going to stand up. Like I said, we're not going to be completely seated the whole time. Um, but we're going to start with some scapular push-ups. So what does that mean? So, 
I'm going to get into an incline position, okay? Uh, and I'm basically just going to sink down. So notice my arms aren't moving, and I'm just sort of pushing up. So the idea when you see this, it's sort of like you sink in, so that you're, you sort of get what you call bat wings, and then you press up as if my hand is right here on your spine between your scapula, and you're pressing up, pressing up in my hand. So I'm not actually moving my arms at all. It's all just moving my shoulders. So you can be down here if you want. If you want to start, if you need to modify, you can just do this on the back of your chair, okay? So we're going to do 12, ready? So down, two, sink into those shoulders, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do the last two over here. Seven, twelve. Seven, twelve. <laughs> oh my lord, Lord, I don't even know that guy. Seven, twelve. Um, I remember a friend of mine he used to have a ribbon at his work desk that said, "I can count to ten. I can't even get one of those." All right. Next thing that we're going to do is tricep this. So I'm going to keep moving this chair around. All right. So there are many different things you can do, okay? So I'm going to show you the beginner version. So basically, you're just supporting yourself. Your hands are on the side of your seat. Your knees are bent. Your, your leg just like this. And you're just going to dip. Two. Three. Four. Five. Backs are scraping the chair. Well, not quite. Six. All right. So you keep going up to 12. I'm going to show you the next round. Leg straight. Five. Six. And so you want to play with this. How much can you dip your triceps? How much can you get your elbows to bend? So you want to try to go for a big range of motion. But if you're not there, just do little dips, okay? Do what's comfortable for you to get to 12 reps, okay? That's tricep dips. Oh my goodness. Just keep moving the chair around. All right. Now we're going to do a bunch of moves that if you have weights, this is a good time to bust them out. All right. And if you don't have weights, just do the motion with your body weight. Did you know that each arm is roughly 5% of your body weight? So think about it. So fair. That could be a more weight than you think. So like for a 150 pound person, each arm is roughly seven and a half pounds. So you're still doing something, when you're, even if you're lifting your body weight. All right. Next one, we're going to do flies. So if you're just doing arm motion, think of it as you're giving someone a hug and you're taking it away. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top of the movement, okay? So you're going to lean over, okay? Giving someone a hug, taking it away. Two, we're going to do 12. Keep your core engaged. Back straight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. How are you doing? Shake it out. Next move we're going to do, overhead press. Okay? So the upper body workout is going to be very similar to what you might do regularly in the gym. Just doing supported moves. All right? So, overhead press. You start with your hands at goal post. Press up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep that back straight. Posture. 
So we talk about sitting up straight, back flat. Remember, all the cues for your pelvic tilt still apply. So don't be sticking your butt out. Don't be slouching. Sit up straight, neutral pelvis, neutral spine, reaching to the crown of your head, okay? And keep those tips in mind as we're lifting, all right? So next move we're gonna do, we're gonna bend over, we're gonna put our elbow on our, um, <laughs> on our thigh, okay? And we're just gonna do curls. So all the way down, all the way up. We're gonna do 12 on each side. Here we go. One. Ow. I just hit my ankle. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, take a break, swap it out, other side, here we go, one, two, remember to raise and lower, slowly control, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How are you doing? Mom, how are you doing? Are you lifting a lot? I hope so. All right. So this next one, you're probably going to want to let it wait because you're going to be holding the weights up for a fair amount of time. So, uh... If this is too challenging, just go down to body weight too, okay? So before we were doing the overhead press, right? We we're going up like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep them at goal post, bring them together, raise, okay? So we're gonna do 12 of those. Here we go. One, raise, open. Two, raise, open. Three, raise, open. Four, five, keep nine, good 90 degree angle, shoulders down and back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven. 12. Nice job. How's it going, Mom? Can you give me a high five? Woo! All right. So here's the last move of our upper body set, okay? We're going to do push ups, okay? Full push ups. Now, you have options. Again, like similar to the scapular push ups. If you just want to do this at the base of the at the top of the chair, you can do that. Okay, similar to being against the wall, having a higher incline, or you can go here. Or if you feel like doing fancy pants, you can do a decline push up. It's up to you. All right, so I'm going to do four, four, four. All right, here we go. We're going to take it nice and slow. One. Two, three, four. Do you ever wonder why an incline push up is easier and a decline push up is harder? I actually answered this question five in my Physics of Fitness Fridays two weeks ago. Check it out on my blog, jamiereactionfitness.com. Did you know that when you are in a regular push up position, you're lifting about 65% of your body weight? One. Two, I'm sorry, this is 11, 12. And then depending on the angle of your body, you can be lifting anywhere from like 55% to 75%. So changing the incline on a push-up is a great way to work yourself up if you're interested in work, you know, doing a full push-up. It's a great way to incrementally increase the intensity without being just like, you know, so many people are like, well, it's either on my knees, 
or it's on the ground. No, you have options. Think about it. All right. We're going to do that whole thing again. All right. So 12 reps on each one and uh, seven moves. See if we can do it with a little. Oh, we've got time. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to do scapular push ups. So remember, for these, you're not moving. You're, you're not moving, bending at the elbows or anything. You're just sinking in, pushing up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, head neutral spine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right? Now we're going to go into those tricep dips, okay? So remember the level of intensity. Either bent knees, straight legs. If you wear fancy pants, you can lift a leg. So I'm going to do, do a few of each. Here we go. One. Try to get those elbows back as much as you can. Four. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, lift the leg. One, two, oh, last two, 11, 12. I said 12 reps and I count really weird. Okay. Now I'm going to face forward for you. So, again, remember, you're going to be bent over. You're not going to be like, le you're not resting completely around your torso. You are keeping a little bit of a distance because you want to keep your back straight and keep everything engaged, right? So keeping your core in, back straight, bracing through your glutes and everything, and just give the hug, take it away. So my elbows are slightly bent. I'm just bring it apart. Here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, take the hug away. Take the hug away. Five, six, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Seven, eight, nine, head neutral spine. Ten, two more. Eleven, twelve. Good job. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Gonna switch my few cards. I can see what I'm doing. All right. Next move, overhead press, okay? Think about keeping your body in this plane, okay? So your arms aren't coming forward or anything. You're staying straight overhead by your ears. And remember at the top of the movement, don't do this. Keep your shoulders down and back throughout the entire movement. Here we go. Go post to start. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep those shoulders down. Twelve. Nicely done. All right, shake it out, shake it out. We're going to do bicep curls on our legs. Elbow. So in the middle of the thigh, full range of motion, solid control. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Other side. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nice job. 
reps on each side for that, okay? Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do, let's do three on each side, and then we're going to try to lift both at the same time. What? Okay. Here we go. Hands in front on the edge of the chair. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Shake it out. <laughs> Let's try to do four more both legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, shake that out. Oh my goodness. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. I haven't done those in a while. Usually I do them on the floor. You can do them on the floor. Those are not fun. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we're just going to do calf raises. So if you want to do them in your chair, you can. You can even, if you have a weight, you can put them on your, you know, keep your, uh, keep them on your, uh, use your words, but I mean, keep them on your knees. You can even, like, try to press down with your hands if you want some resistance, okay? But we're just going to do 20 calf raises, and if you want to stand beside your chair, you can do that too. You can do single leg if you want, okay? So I'm going to do 10, we're going to do 20 total. So you can do them seated in the chair with some resistance or without. You can do them behind the chair. I see we're in a good posture and good uh, back and good position regardless. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Another thing you could do is on the next round, if you want weights for that, totally grab some weights. However, you want to change the intensity. All right, we've got one more move in the lower body sequence, and that's going to be a glute bridge. Okay. So, if you're sitting here, if you want to do it in the chair, you're basically going to push your hips up, okay? So I'm going to start with my butt just in front of the chair, my knees at 90 degrees, and I'm going to press my hips forward, okay? So we'll do that. When you get to this motion, I want you to squeeze your glutes, okay? We're going to do it nice and slow. So that's option one. And then option two is to have your feet up. And again, same movement, squeeze your hips to the top and come back down, okay? So this is going to be glutes and hamstrings. I'm going to do, we're going to do 20. I'm going to do 10 in the chair and then 10 out, okay? 90 degrees, butt right in front. Here we go. One, two, Three. At this movement, I have a straight line from my knees to my shoulders. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep your core engaged. Nine. Ten. And switch it around. You can stay up if you want. Here we go. One. Two, three, imaginary strings, pulling your hips straight up. Four, five, six, we're going to squeeze the glutes at the top. If you want, you can put your arms up if you're on the ground. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Good job. How are you feeling? <sighs> All right. I don't know what that response is to, Mom, but I like it when we made a while. All right, so that's the four moves for lower body. We're going to take a drink of water, and then we're going to do them again, okay? So remember all the modifications? Figure out what you want to do, okay? So. <sighs> Um, let's see if I can remember which order we didn't use it. All right, I'm going to start with straddle lifts. So we're going to do 20 total. 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep those legs straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do three more on each side, then four in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Let's see if we can lift the boat. One, two, three, one more, four, ah, oh. shake it out. High five, those are hard. All right. They did all four, Mom. Awesome. All right. All right. Next, we're going to do calf raises. All right. So, I'm going to get behind the chair. You can do them in your seat. Remember, we're gonna do a nice slow movement. Hold it top just a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You are not leaning on the chair, you're just using it as a little support. Six, make sure you don't fall over. Seven, really emphasize going on your tippy toes. Tippy toes. Nine, I think this is 10. Could be 11, but I'm going to go say it's 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. We're going to do blue bridge. And I just realized I forgot to move. Oh, if you're playing bingo, this would be where the instructor forgets to move. But what well, at the end? It'll all be good. Okay. We're going to do our blue bridge. Here we go. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put my arms up. Seven, looking straight up. Eight, imagine those strings pulling your hips up. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Are you feeling fancy? Do one leg. Five, four, three. Two. Oh my gosh, so hard on the hamstrings. One. Oh. Awesome job. How are you feeling? So we're going to do a bonus move. Okay. That's okay, man. Go get your water. Water's important. All right, you're going to come back in. And we're just going to do some squats. Now, if you don't want to do anything on your feet, you can skip this and just... Hold on. I'm basically just going to use the chair for support. So it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to do ten on each side. Ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four. Notice my one foot is just tucked right into the side. Five, six. I'm barely touching. Seven. The top of my chair for support. Eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to do a bonus just to make sure I do ten. Awesome job! This is a high ten. All right, we're gonna do three sets of the 
last thing because it's core and it's just two moves, okay? So, grab some water. I'm going to grab some water. So for this move, you're going to be leaning back into your chair a little bit. So let me show you this from the side. Ooh. Ow, my poor ankles. Oh. Okay, so I'm leaning back. So I've got some space at the bottom. And so this is sort of like a supported seesaw position because my back is sort of rounded going into this. I'm going to have my hands at the edge of the seat. So they're basically in front of my glutes, okay? And we're going to just do tucks, okay? So notice that in this part of the movement, my knees are 90 degrees, and I only decrease it at the top, okay? We're going to do 20, relatively slow. You ready for this, Mom? Yeah! All right, see sit position. Remember to tighten your core to protect your back. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, contract that core, and one. Shake it out. It's gonna, you're gonna feel that in your hip flexors too. Whew. How do you get sweat sitting down in a chair? I did. All right. Second move. There are only two moves in the core round, but we're gonna do them three times through. Okay? So basically, you're just going to do like a modified bicycle, okay? Your back's going to be a little curved, okay? So one, two, okay? Shake it out. Get into that nice seated position. Here we go. So you're going to keep your elbows open, not crunching them in, okay? Because I want to make sure that when you touch, you get that good crunch. And if your elbows are like this, you're not going to crunch as much, okay? Elbows open. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. How you doing? Doing good? Grab a quick set of water. Grab a quick set of water. Three sets or three reps. We're gonna do that two more times through, okay? So this next round, you can either stay in the way we did it before with your back supported, or what you can do is you can be up and just do tucks, okay? So we're going to start with 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, shoulders down and back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, high hand. So you may not be able to get that whole range of motion. So I mean, it's, it's getting those legs up off the ground can be tough, right? This part of the motion can be really tough. Really think about tightening that core, using your core to sort of drag, drag your legs up, okay? 
We've got a little more round of those. The first, we're going to do our side to side crunches. So I'm going to do a full on bicycle in this move, but if you want to do the supported move, where you're just sort of, where you're uh, just bring your knee up, twisting to the side, you can keep doing that, okay? So we're going to do bicycles. Uh, for this next round, if you want to increase the intensity. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Notice I'm still in that seated position. Six, but I'm just I don't have any support on my back. Seven, All right? So eight, nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Got one more round of that. Ah, I don't know. So, this will be our last round. After that, we have a bonus move. It's sort of tough, so you may not want to do it, but we'll give it a shot, okay? So, shake it out. Get ready for that last round of knee tucks, okay? Again, you're either going to have back supported or you're going to be going on your side using holding your seat position without any support from the back of the chair. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome! Shake out your flexors. Woo, woo, woo. All right, you ready for bicycles? You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. Okay. I'll show myself out later, don't worry. Okay. Shake it out, take a deep breath. We're gonna do these bicycles. Remember, if you're supported on the back of the chair, that's totally cool, whatever works for you. Think about range of motion. Maybe you can't get your elbow all the way to the knee, but see if you can push yourself a little farther each time, okay? Don't let yourself hunch, try to keep your shoulders down and back, that's part of the challenge, okay? So, Seated position, okay? Elbows back, shoulders down and back, keeping that nice position with your back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't care if your toes touch or not, it's up to you. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, God. Hot fogs. How you doing? How you doing? All right, so we have a bonus move. This move may not be for you. It's kind of hard. So, if you see this move and you're like, uh-uh, just chill out. And uh, you could do it on the floor. Or um, we could have you do, uh, let me see if I can think about a modification for this. Okay. So, we're going to do a side plank, okay? So, if this is accessible for you, you can just get both feet on here and just hold the plank, okay? Notice... My uh, elbow and my shoulder are in line, I'm just holding the plank, okay? So that's level one, okay? If you want, you can just try to do this on the ground, okay? And just hold the plank. But if you can go for the chair, go for it. Round two is just dipping hips, okay? But the move that I'm going to show you, this is for anyone who's like, oh, they're going to go for challenge, okay? Actually, you know what? Let's do a progression on this. That's what we'll do. All right. I've got time to figure this out. I was just going to have this one move, but I was like, you know what? Let's actually, let's progress it. How you doing, Mom? 
Yay, high fives. Five of them, so that's high 25. Okay. So, you can either go on the floor, but if you can use the chair, let's go for it. And let's just hold this for 10 seconds. Ready? And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. Notice my whole body was in a line, so it wasn't, my torso wasn't leaning forwards or back. My whole body was basically, well, with the exception of my forearm. So like my whole body was pressed between two panes of glass, okay? Just sort of perpendicular to the floor. All right, we're going to do that same move, but now we're going to add a dip, okay? Here we go. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nicely done, nicely done. I'm going to show you the last move, okay? Oh, side planks. Okay. I haven't done it on the chair. This is fun, actually. All right. The last move, you're only going to put the top foot on the chair. What? What are we doing? Oh, okay. So I've got one foot on the chair, one foot on the ground. I'm going to lift up. Two. Three. Okay? We're going to do that for ten. Okay? Getting a little bit of like A, D, doctor, add doctor in here. Isn't this fun? All right. So we're going to start with one foot on the chair, one foot on the ground. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job! I really like that. We gotta do the other side. So here's the thing. I hope you're doing this on the other side. Stay with whatever level you want, okay? If you want to keep it on the ground and do a side plank there, that's cool. If you can just hold a side plank here, feel free to stay at level one or two. Or if you feel good, go up to level three. We're gonna do all three here. Here we go. One. Two, three, hips up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it down. Okay? Shake it out, take a break. If you're not doing any of this, that's okay. We're going to get to the uh, cool down right after this. Okay? Here we go, round two with the dip. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on down. One more round and then you're done. We're going to get a little adductor in here, adductor. So someone said there's abduction, which is AB, then adduction, AD. Abduction, AD, duction. Think of it as adding together. You're bringing your legs together, adding, adding them together. Abduction, abduction is when your legs go out. So I think of it as you're abducting one leg away from the other. I don't know. It's how I keep it straight. All right. Last round. Top foot on the chair, bottom foot on the floor. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. You are done! Awesome job! Did you try any of that, Mom? Not sure if it was uh, your speed or not, but if you tried some of it, that's awesome. All right? For everybody else, good job. And I'm going to move to the final song because we are finished! Hold on, where is it? Come on, come on. All right, last song on the playlist. In three, two, one, press play. All right, good job, good job. So proud of you. Thank you for working out with me today, Mom. 
Thank you for everybody who worked out with me today. I'm gonna have your arms out, bring one in front, shoulder down, bring it across. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed that. Found the right level of challenge for you. <sighs> bring your arm out, give yourself a pat on the back. Do those tricep dips, stretch that tricep out. Your back straight, head up. All right, other arm down in front, shoulder down. Oh, bring it across the chest. Remember, don't let your butt be sticking out or anything. Make sure you have a neutral spine while you're sitting, reaching up through the crown of your head. Bring your arm out, yourself head on the back. Bring your tricep. Back, pull on your elbow, stretch that tricep. Some good push ups today tricep dips, scapula push ups. So if you're mind with the upper body. Mm. All right, release that. So I'm going to reach down with my fingertips, reach towards the ground, tilt my head to one side, my favorite side, looking straight ahead. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Keep pulling down through those fingers to help increase the stretch. You're going to look up towards the ceiling. Reach down through your fingertips. Look down. Oh, yeah. Stretching all the different parts of the neck. And then just slowly look up towards the side. Ooh. Ooh. All right, look forward, we're going to go to the other side. Reaching down, tilting your head to the other side. And remember, as you're tilting up and down, you're still keeping the side bend, okay? Still reaching down. So look up towards the ceiling. You should feel the muscle change. Look down towards the floor. And now you're just going to look towards the side. So no tilt in the head, just looking straight towards the side. Oh, shake it out, okay? Clasp your hands behind you if you can. Pull your shoulders back. Oh. Eight hours a day in front of that computer, in front of that glowing screen. We're going to try to correct it with these next 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, it's not a losing battle, but think about your posture during the day. Release. Put your hands on your hip or hands on your knees. You're gonna push back, curving, curving your back. Release. Pushing back through your shoulders. You're going to put your feet down in front of you, lean forward. Spend a lot of time stretching the arms and upper body because we worked them a lot more today. Again, coming back to that figure four stretch, bend forward. Ooh, what time is it? 10.28. Keeping your back flat. Maybe you're only up here, wherever you feel the stretch. I'm very flexible in this one way. So for me, switch sides and uh, I can come down. All right, so I'm gonna stop here because we're out of time and I ran out of music. Um, but what I want you to do is keep stretching. If there's anything else you wanna stretch, go for it. And otherwise, this made you sweat, made you smile. Um, I have a charity listed in the about. You can go make a donation there. Um, showing up for racial justice in Santa Barbara. Uh, it's a local uh, uh, local nonprofit that I think is sort of relevant for the time. So if you could donate there, uh, in lieu of donating to me, um, yeah, uh, you can send your money there. 
Um, thank you so much for working out with me. You are that much stronger for being here today and I really appreciate it because I love working out with friends and family. Thank you, Mom, so much for joining me. Um, have a wonderful day. Again, starting on uh, Monday, there will be a different schedule, a reduced schedule. So I'll be going to just three uh, live workouts a week. Um, I'll be sending uh, a post about that tomorrow. But if you want all the scoop on all the things I'm still going to be doing, I'm still going to have modality Mondays, still going to have technical Tuesdays and physics Fridays. If you want to learn about all of that, if you want more details on what the workouts are actually going to be week to week, I encourage you to sign up for my newsletter. Um, there's a post uh, that I put um, on Facebook a couple of days ago. You can go click on the link, uh, send me your email, and I will put you on the mailing list. Um, so those are going to go on those uh, mailing lists is, or newsletter will go out on Sundays. Okay, so it'll tell you all the things that you need for week, like what equipment you need, what the workout's going to be like, like a little description of it. So if that's information that would be useful to you, um, sign up for my mailing list. That would be awesome. Um, and then uh, otherwise, like I said, I'll still be doing the workouts here. Um, there will just be uh, fewer of them because I'm going to focus my efforts on some other things. So thank you so much for working out with me today. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. I love you. Uh, take care of each other. Spread love. I love you guys. And uh, love and workouts. That's what I have for you. So. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.